Tell me peace and happiness. Oh, peace and happiness. Tell me peace and happiness. Tell me peace and happiness. Oh, peace and happiness. She wasn't trying to be a prima donna. She wasn't trying to be an important artist. Nellie tended to sign Nellie May Rowe on everything. Who would think of making a statue out of chewing gum? If you came in, it was like, oh, what is that? Never knew that that was art. You know what I'm saying? She was a fun going lady. <laughs> the community that we lived in was a small pocket of black people. And everywhere else, it was very affluent white people. They weren't very nice. And they'd throw rocks, knock out my window, some firecrackers and everything. Nellie Mae Rowe witnessed the time and era of the Atlanta race riot, had seen white terror when nothing was being done. She did a couple pieces on the murdered and missing children. Judith Alexander decided to start representing Nellie Nero. They came from opposite ends of the spectrum. Just marvelous, Nellie. Oh, no, no. I, no I'm not supposed to be in the oh. movie. She would agree to sell a painting and then change her mind. And I said, this is the craziest woman in Atlanta. A relationship that was instantaneous, like a spark. <laughs> She was drawing because she loved to draw, and then she found that there were people that loved her drawings. Who knows? Nellie May Rowe may be considered high art one day. Her world is beautiful. It's full of hope. It ain't my home.